hello. Say welcome back. Or just welcome in general if this is uh, your first time here. It is a beautiful, beautiful day out. So we're gonna go for a little ride. Wanted to get out of the house. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna go do some stuff. We've got to go return a computer to Amazon because mommy got the wrong one. I don't read or research things sometimes. What else are we going to do? Maybe go be people of Walmart. It's going to be an adventure. Right? Let's go. More importantly, first stop. This is a long ass line, <laughs> but it's worth it. I need my coffees. Look at this baby. So content. Hi, Penelope. Hi. Can I have a medium cold brew? Um, what do you have that's sugar free? Like as for creamers? Vanilla, blueberry, coconut, toasted. The toasted almond? All right, so I'll do a medium cold brew, sugar-free, toasted almond, with some cream. cream? Yep, and that's it. Thank you. And one of my biggest pet peeves is when I get a medium drink and they give me a large straw. I don't know why, I just absolutely hate that. All right, I just parked at Walmart and it is a madhouse. <laughs> I forgot that it's Saturday, but I just need to run in and get like one thing, even though I'm terrible. I'm Walmart is like my target to normal people. I don't give a shit. I'm a people of Walmart, whatever. I need to just not get a cart though. If I get a cart, I'm gonna spend like $300. <gasps> All right, let's do this. Peanut. Hi, Peanut. You want to go into Wally World with Mama? <laughs> My little shopping buddy. <laughs> so, I baby wear. Normally, I have my boba, but I have no idea where I put it. I have it home. I love it, and we need another one for our basement because we're building our gym. Oh, I didn't get a card on purpose so that I would not do this, but I have a problem. Look at all this cute arts and crafts stuff. Life hack, you can get these wreath things from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And flowers too. <laughs> That's another thing I love is the Dollar Tree. I really love this, but not paying $30. And this. Oh my goodness. Why do I do this to myself? actually what I came in for. <sighs> Thank God for self-checkout. These little dangly feet. This car mount for my phone is, oh no. I always put my phone down here. Sorry that my car is a disaster, but you know, real life person here. And um, I, I look down a lot when I should be looking up. And also, I drive a lot. So I thought maybe it would be nice to just suction cup my phone up there so I can vlog at the same time. Because yeah, I use my, my iPhone sometimes for video, even though I have this puppy. It's beautiful, but 
um, it's pretty big. So until I get like a smaller vlogging camera, this iPhone will have to do. this is hanging whatever all right deal with it <laughs> now we're going to the UPS store because I purchased on Amazon a HP desktop which is like touch screen it's 23 inches it's like the coolest freaking computer ever and I love it and I used to have it for work but um, it's actually not good enough for video editing and stuff which is the main re reason I got it and I got it refurbished so it's not like I spent an arm and a leg so um yeah I had the option of returning it and honestly I'm just gonna get a refurbished Mac because I have a MacBook and it's literally like eight or nine years old and it still works really good but I just want a desktop like that's just what I need is a desktop so <sighs> I was trying to get away from Macs because I also use it for work and I need like windows and stuff, but whatever. We're just gonna have to deal with it because I hate to say it, but Apple really is superior. All I know is I've had a Mac and have never really had any problems. I had an Acer, which I ended up using as a frisbee it sucked i got like the blue screen whatever i don't know what i did to that thing well i'm here but i'm gonna need somebody to help me oh my God. people don't know how to drive i'm gonna need somebody to help me trunk because I gotta carry my baby and this thing is huge. Alright, well that was easier than expected. Uh, I just strapped the baby into my carrier and I was able to just pick it up out of the trunk and go. Even though it was slightly heavy. <laughs> but you know, we're moms. We don't need anybody. We got this shit. I freaking hate New Jersey, by the way. Um, can I just say, I am originally from the beautiful state of Maine, originally. And uh, I was raised, like grew up in New York. So that's where I learned to drive. Um, which apparently, you know, it's scary to drive in New York. Um, there's so much traffic and people are going like so fast but it flows you know like it just goes and everybody's just aggressively driving together new jersey um we just moved here in september so like seven months ago you guys you jersey drivers are freaking crazy man like i i get scared I've driven in Manhattan plenty of times and had less anxiety than I do driving here on these farmy ass roads. It's crazy. People are crazy in New Jersey. Like, I don't know, maybe it's something in the water, but you guys are cranky on the road, man. So back to baby wearing. Um, I, before I had my first son, I was like, uh, I'm not going to baby wear. It's weird. But, um, I got a sling as a gift from somebody at, uh, I believe at my baby shower and I tried it out and, you know, it was pretty cool. Um, I don't think that I was doing it right because it bothered me a bit, so... I got the uh, the carrier that I was just wearing. It's six years old now. Another um, carrier that I use is the Boba Wrap. And let me tell you, I love this thing. I should do like a, uh, a review, like an instructional review because it is a little uh, 
intimidating, the boba wrap at first, because I remember seeing it and being like, oh, crunchy moms <laughs> with their boba wraps. How am I going to do this? It doesn't look safe. But it was um, like the best investment ever. So I'm going to post a video about baby wearing and the wraps and stuff and do like a little review just because especially for like new moms it's something that I wish that I had learned earlier about also uh, diapers that's another thing is I have gone through like every brand of diapers trying to find what works best for us especially like the little pee machine back there he pees through certain brands so I am going to post like a review um, of brand diapers because I have a, br a bunch of brands at home right now, um, like specifically for that video. So yeah, including like Pampers, Huggies, Jet even because Jet.com has diapers and they're cheap but doesn't mean they're great, honest. I even have like some Aldi brand, like I, <laughs> some like grocery store brand diaper <laughs> and they're okay. So I'm going to post a video of that because it's another thing. Like when you buy diapers, you're like, what size do I get? What brand do I get? I have no idea. So it's just going to be like a little helpful video for the moms to be, I guess, um, because I feel like a professional mom now, you know what I mean? I've had two kids one is six and one is 10 weeks old so I feel like a pro but I also feel like I'm doing it all over again like from scratch and some things I just forget so we're gonna uh it's an adventure honestly and then we also have um another Charlie believe it or not we have two Charlies so Charlie my Charlie's six and then um, he's from my previous relationship. And then my fiance, John, he also has a Charlie who's five. So, and mine's still five right now. He's still five. So we both have two five-year-old Charlies. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, that was just like one thing that we bonded over, I guess, before we actually started dating. He is my soulmate, by the way. I have to talk about him for a second here. He is literally, so I had like the bachelorette going on in like a group text before I met him. Um, and I just listed like attributes of a man, like because I just got out of like a horrible, controlling, manipulative, abusive ass relationship with some so uh yeah I was having like a bachelorette group chat with my girls just naming things of the perfect man for me um my dream man I guess John fits every single category like every detail that I wanted in somebody and I've known of him for years years we followed each other on Instagram forever ago, and I always had a crush on him. Like, he was, like, my Insta crush. Um, like, flirted here and there, talked, like, friendly, you know, comments, whatever, but I thought he lived in, like, the other side of the country, so I just didn't, like, pursue it at all, and um, started, like, DMing again on Instagram and uh, just like hit it off completely. He's everything I've ever wanted in a person. It's amazing. So, I mean, we have our ups and downs, obviously. Every relationship does. But if I lost him somehow, I would be absolutely devastated. I would never, ever, ever be able to replace him. So, that's why we're getting married because um, 
he is like my everything. So I'm going to stop gushing about him now. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to post um, a review or instructional like baby wearing video as well as some diaper review because let's face it, we're all just doing it, just going. We don't know until it's happening. <laughs> That's pretty much with anything in life. We're just trying it out. Well, I'm almost home. I just want you guys to see like the area that I live in. It's actually really cute. Welcome to my hood. Our town, like specifically like in town, we live like right outside of town, but it's, um, it's a little white trashy, not gonna lie. <laughs> but uh, right outside is really nice. And then we have a really nice property. We've got almost an acre. We rent um, our house, but our house is really cute and cozy. It's pretty big. Um, I think it's like 2,000 square feet or something, which doesn't sound huge, but I mean, for a little small family it is. And we have a lake in our backyard. Granted, it's not swimmable in our area because it's like we live in, what is that called? The, the far crevice of the lake. So it gets like a little swampy, I guess you could say. But we can get like a little boat out there if we want and go out to the bigger part of the lake. But I don't, I honestly don't think even the bigger part of the lake is considered swimmable. Um, my goal is just to get back to Maine. I'm from a town that's on a lake. It's on a huge, giant, swimmable, beautiful lake. And I would love to have a house where I could just walk out back jump in on the dock so that's my goal our goal we're both obsessed like we want to move right now but we're not rich we're far from rich a lot of debt he has a lot of debt and we're trying to climb out of a hole right now so this is real life people real life so yeah um Thanks for, I guess, watching me just live. That's basically what's happening right now is I'm just living and taking my phone and my camera along. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get famous, you know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. Am I though? I don't know. I mean, it would be cool, but I don't want to be famous. Who wants to be famous? That sounds terrible. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and comment on them because apparently this YouTube algorithm thing depends on all of that. I would like to um, monetize my videos, but I need a thousand subscribers apparently or like 4,000 hours of like view footage. We'll get there one day, maybe. Unless I'm like super weird and boring and like I just don't realize it. Who knows? Okay, bye.